Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to help repair and remedy a memory leak on your Windows 10 computer. So whenever you run a program in general terms, it will require processing power or RAM or memory in order to run its operations. After a program is done and you want to close out of it, what it's supposed to do is release whatever memory allocation it's been given back to the system so that if you open up another program it'll be able to access the RAM but when you have a memory leak you will not have any RAM or memory that's freed up or if you do it will not be 100% and you're going to continuously have high RAM or memory usage so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing how to hopefully free up some memory so while this also can be affected by software aging, meaning older software is more likely to be prone to these type of errors as Windows becomes newer and installs new updates, hopefully this tutorial will fix most of your guys' problems. So we're going to first head over to Reg Edit. So I'm going to just go on to our start menu. I'm going to type in Reg Edit. Now I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, select yes. Okay, so once you are in the registry editor, what you want to do is click on the little drop down arrow next to H key local machine. Then you want to left click on the little drop down arrow next to system. And then you want to left click on the little arrow next to control set 001. I'm going to expand this window a little bit so we can see our path a little bit better. And then you want to left click on the little drop down arrow next to services. And then you want to scroll down this list until you get to NDU. right here. So once you're on NDU, on the right side here, we want to right click on the start entry and then we want to left click on modify. With this window now open, you'll probably see the value data is set to 2. What you want to do is change it to 4. So backspace, highlight over, whatever you want to do, and then just make sure it says 4 under value data. And then left click on OK. Now you can close out this window. If this method does not work for you, there is one other alternative that comes to mind in this instance, and that would be to head back over to our Start menu, and we want to right-click actually on the Start button, and we want to left-click on Run. We want to type services.msc, and then click on Enter. With the Services window open, what we want to do is head down until we find Superfetch, so I'm just going to keep scrolling down here. And if we read the description of it, it says maintains and improves system performance over time. If the first method does not work for you and your memory usage has not decreased, what I recommend doing is right click on the service, left click on stop, and then if we actually double click on it, and then we go underneath startup type, click on this little drop down arrow, or click anywhere on this box for that matter, and then left click on disabled, then do apply and OK. So it will not relaunch every time you open up your computer. At this point, you close out, restart the computer. Um, same goes for the first method as well. Um, both methods, I would highly recommend restarting your computer and then checking your memory usage. So hopefully, with either one of these two methods will be successful for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.